Hi guys, welcome to my uh, SRE Demystified video series. Hello, welcome back. This is a series on demystifying SRE, Site Reliability Engineering. I am Dr. Ganesh. In this video, I am going to introduce or talk about error budget. So, what is SRE? SRE stands for Site Reliability Engineering. A site reliability engineer typically write code, build pipeline, provision infrastructure, load testing, on-call support, monitor dashboard, write disaster recovery scripts, write code, write code, write code, wow, 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 lot of things, wow, okay. Uh, I had a video before on introducing site reliability engineering and explaining the terms SLI, SLO and SLA. I encourage you to watch that video in case you haven't and you are curious to know about it. Let me recap. SLI stands for Service Level Indicator. Essentially, if it is a defined quantitative measure of certain aspect of a level of service that is provided. For example, login request completed less than 10, 1000 milliseconds. What about SLO? A goal for an SLO over some time period. Say, in a period of 5 minutes, I want to ensure 99.9% .9 of login requests are completed in less than 1000 milliseconds. As mentioned in my indicator, SLI. What about SLA? An SLO with added consequences in case of violation. For example, if no more than 1 hour downtime, in a given month or else you may request for a refund of up to X amount of the service. So what is error budget? SRE engineers verify the code quality of changes by running automation. They have automated test results which will ensure or give you an indication of the quality of the code. Then the SRE managers, yeah, they have a lot of work. They can fix the SLOs to gauge the performance. If the if the gauge results in uh, some threshold for a minimum per permissible application downtime, which is known as error budget, they will approve. If not, they will roll back the changes, ask you to work on it because they want to ensure the pro the performance is within the error budget formula. It essentially brings balance between. SRE and application development by mitigating risk upfront. It is unaffected until the system availability will fall within SLO. The ultimate goal of error budget is to remain the application's reliability and scalability. Let's take an example. What is meant by SLO of 99.9%? .9 An SLO of 99.9% means a system should be available for 99.9 percentage of the time. Let me take it in a month of 30 days. This also means 0.1 percentage downtime in a whole month, which means 0 0.001 times 30 days times 24 hours times 60 minutes per month, which translates to 43.2 minutes per month, which essentially indicates in a month the system can go down for up to 43.2 minutes. Anything above is unacceptable. So if you have a cheat sheet prepared like this, that can give you an understanding of various availability levels, the downtime per year, quarter, month, week, day, hour. And you can decide based on your product's characteristics and usage, what is the best for you. So let me take one more example. Suppose the system availability is 95% and the SLO threshold is 80%, then the error budget shall be 95 minus 80 which is 15%, which translates to 108 hours per month. So 95% availability and 80% target is a very easy target to achieve, isn't it? You can have the product down for up to 4-5 days. How do you make sense of error budget? Let's take an example. Do most of your error budgets errors happen when you are doing binary releases? If yes, 
you should probably do something to make releases less frequent, less error prone or lower impact when there is an error. Are you seeing steady error spent coming from intermittent application failure which adds up to the majority of error budget? If yes, you should do a root cause analysis and plan to fix those issues as early as you can. Or else, does major application failures when, where most of your service goes down when you do some config changes or due to excessive load, then a good post-mortem will help you find out the problem and mitigate the root causes. And finally, if the dependency outside your control such as a compute platform or a backend is giving you a problem, it's time to talk to them, show your SLA metrics, negotiate and ensure their services are more reliable. Thank you guys. I hope you like the video. Uh, request you to subscribe my channel, like, share, give your feedback. Bye.